Hey guys, welcome back to DAT. In this video today, we're taking another look at the Recon 3, but in particular, we are going to be doing a nice little antenna upgrade for the BTX. So stay right there. So we're going to do this upgrade on the Recon 3 for the antenna. We're going to replace this. And what I've got is I've got this antenna here. If you can see that. This is a Nano from Emacs. So it's quite a small antenna. Here she is. I'll show you that camera there. So she's quite small. Get my head out of the way, sorry. There she is. And that is going to fit on the back. I'm going to look at something like this. And it should be okay. I know there's metal here. I'm going to put some protection around there, either a um, heat shrink or something like that. Heat shrink, is that right? Shrink wrap, even. That's the word, isn't it? So we're going to put that on there, because metal against metal is never a good idea. So we're going to protect it a little bit. And I've also got a basic SMA pigtail. And this is just the um, UFL connector on there. And this is one I've had lying around. You can actually get it without the screw mount, so that might be better for you guys. But this is just one I had lying around. I'm going to use it, and we're going to see how it goes. So we're going to get this bottom off. Very easy to do. It's only screws. The VTX is there, and we're just going to take the wrap off that's in, put this one back in, and see how we're going to attach it on the back. So we're going to do that right now. There we go. So this is what we're going to replace. I'm just going to take this off. I'm just going to cut it off, and then we're going to replace the pigtail here. So we're going to do. It should be a nice, simple update. There she is, that is off. See that there, hide my head again. And there. So all we're gonna do is just pop this connector off. Like so, very easy. And then, like I said, I've got this new pigtail here. We're gonna put that in place. And then put some heat shrink around it again. So it's just that, that goes on there. Let's do that now. Just like so. And all I'm going to do, I've got another piece of heat shrink. I'm going to put that over and then just shrink it up. Real simple update, guys. Okay, we are just going to use a lighter again. I can find it. Always be careful if you're using a lighter. I know I say it every time, but please do. That's it, very simple, very painless. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna keep the VTX exactly where it was and the SMA mount is still gonna come out of this hole at the back, if you can see that. It does fit, it's a little bit tight in here, but it does fit. So there's the SMA pigtail in place. We've got the bottom back on. And this, if I'm, I'm gonna put the antenna on. So here's the nano antenna. I'm gonna stick that screws into place, just a standard antenna. And for me, this is gonna sit right here at the back. So that's where I'm gonna put it. But it's a little bit close to that metal contact for the actual battery. So what I'm gonna do, let me see that on there, get my head out of the way. It's gonna sit right there. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some black electrical tape around it just to be doubly sure that no metal on metal is gonna contact. And then I'm gonna use a zip tie around here just to hold it in place. Let's get that done. So there's the actual, I've just covered it in electrical tape. It just, it just gives me a bit of peace of mind, that's all. And just to be doubly secure, I'm gonna put one last piece over here as well. And that should stop any contact whatsoever. And then that'll sit there. So get a zip tie. And the zip tie, I'm just gonna feed under that battery connection. And this is actually, it's quite nice because this actual metal part here actually acts as a little brace. So the zip tie sits on top. Let's pull it tight. Yeah, so the metal part actually acts as a little brace for the um, zip tie. So it holds it in place pretty well, to be honest with you. There we go, trim that off. And there. There you have it. So that is the antenna in place. I think it looks all right, actually. Let me show you on there. Get my head out of the way. So it looks pretty good. Propellers, it's not going to touch the propellers at all. Well out of place, and this should actually improve the range quite drastically, I would think. So, without further ado guys, let's go for that test flight right now. Pressing record. Off we go. There, hopefully I've got some footage to show you. You should be able to tell that this is a lot better. I was getting break up everywhere before. And the picture quality is so much cleaner. I mean, there is no way I would fly down here on the original antenna that the recon came with. So we're past a field. And yeah, it does really well. I mean, look at that. I would have never flown here. Bit of break up. So that's really good. That's pretty far. Two fields away. This tiny little drone. I'm sure I could go further. But I have got a slight headwind. That does worry me a little bit. But yeah, that picture's great, isn't it? That picture's so much cleaner. I feel like I could actually explore with this now. Yeah, that picture's really good, really nice. So it's probably worth doing, guys, swapping out the antenna. attacked by bugs. I love summer, I hate summer. 
Sun's out, quad's out there, guys. Yeah, that is such a difference. So definitely something worth doing, guys. I know I probably just said it, but... Swap out the antenna. And you have got yourself a nice little cruiser. Still 3.4, bit of break up there. It's just because of the trees, I know that was spot. Always does worry you though, doesn't it? Fly through and climb. That's the way to do it. Just don't panic. Hold your position. Yeah, it's such an improvement, guys. So this is a slow little cruiser. I've got a few more trips out, a few more locations I'm going to be going to, so I may take this with me, see if I can get a bit more interesting footage. Maybe see how far I can push it. Five minutes. The flight time is great on these actually. So I'm gonna cruise it a little bit, see if actually raising the VTX power alters the flight time a lot. Six minutes. If you're still watching, well done guys, well done. If you're still watching, smash that thumbs up. UK FPV guys, give it a round of applause. Seven minutes, voltage doesn't look too bad. Coming up for eight minutes. You do have to preempt those dives and pull that nose up 
a little bit sooner than you think. Recovery time's quite a lot. All right, low battery warnings, just over eight minutes. We're just gonna do a little bit of cruising close now and see how long this battery will last. Eight and a half. I feel like I've got my lean on suddenly. Nine minutes. Feel the power drain. All of a sudden you have to raise the throttle a little bit more. Low battery, low battery. And now. Nine and a half. Going for that 10 minute flight. <clears throat> there we go, 10 minute flight. VTX is gone, so that I need to come in desperately. Whew. There you go. As you saw, I did have a little blackout then, and that's because the battery voltage got a little bit too low, I think. So the power on the VTX at 350, although it does provide a good picture, I think it draws a bit too much power. So maybe look around 100 or 200 and see how that goes. I will do another flight on 200 as well and report back and see how that does. But yeah, 350, it's good, but you are gonna get some outages if you don't come in and land. There we go, guys. That was the flight with the new antenna that I put on the Recon 3. And as you saw, it did a lot, lot better. So yeah, for me, that's an absolute win with this antenna. I'm gonna have to do a couple more flights and actually push it a little bit further just to make sure it can go really far. Cause I think it will, to be honest with you. Cause I mean, if you saw the flight that I did originally with this antenna, the actual recon came with, it didn't do very well at all. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully you can still get hold of these antennas. Like I said, they are Emacs Nano antennas. I will try and leave a link down below. So do check that out. But yeah, pretty good guys. And that actually holds in place really nicely. It's really snug, so it's not in the way at all. Hardly weighs anything. I suppose I should weigh that for you actually. Let me go grab a scales now and I will weigh the whole thing. So here's the scales, here's the recon. There you go, 73 grams with the new antenna in place. And just the antenna by itself, three grams. So it weighs absolutely nothing guys. So that is a great little upgrade to the actual Recon 3, I think. I'll leave the link below, like I said. But yeah, definitely recommend that, guys. As you saw in the video, video did a lot, lot better. So really good upgrade to do on your Recon 3. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Please do smash that thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe. It really helps my channel. And let's see you on the next one.